Weight gain is something that many people struggle with. Unfortunately, it often comes down to the foods we eat without even realizing it. Lectins are carbohydrate-binding proteins that are found in many of the foods that people love to eat, such as grains, legumes, and dairy. Lectins are proteins found in plant-based foods and can cause an inflammatory response when consumed. Recent studies suggest that lectins may be encouraging our bodies to store fat, thus leading to weight gain due to this fat storage. This inflammatory process is caused by the way our bodies react and interact with these proteins. It is important to understand the effects of lectins on the body in order to make informed dietary decisions and maintain a healthy weight. Unfortunately, our digestive system does not always properly absorb these proteins, which can lead to them passing through our bodies undigested. This can be problematic since the body considers these lectins foreign, leading to inflammation and other digestive issues. Luckily, with the help of recent advances in nutrition research, we now have a better understanding of how to reduce the effects of lectins on our bodies. Inflammation is the body's natural response to injury, infection, or irritation. It is a complex process involving both physical and chemical changes that can cause swelling, pain and other symptoms associated with inflammation-based illnesses. During inflammation, white blood cells migrate to the affected area, releasing chemicals that cause further swelling and tissue damage. This complex process is still not fully understood, but it plays an important role in the body's healing process. When lectins are consumed, the body stores fat cells near areas of inflammation. This helps the body to continually fuel the battle against inflammation. As a result, those who consume lectin-rich diets are more likely to become overweight and suffer from other health complications associated with inflammation. It appears that some lectins, found in certain food items such as gluten-based products, can mimic hormones, which influences the body to store fat. This could explain why certain individuals believe that consuming a combination of gluten-rich and lectin-containing diet can be counterproductive in achieving the desired weight loss results. Lectins are nature's way of providing protective mechanisms for plants. Many grains, Fruits and legumes contain lectins that safeguard these food sources from herbivores and insects. Many legume-based foods contain lectins, which can be hard to digest. However, proper cooking techniques can help break down these lectins and make them easier to digest for most people. Typically foods that are high in lectins are wheat, corn, rice, white potatoes, oats, quinoa, legumes, peanuts and cashews, soy, seeds such as pumpkin, sunflower, and chia, cucumbers, zucchini, squashes, tomatoes, eggplant, peppers, and goji berries. Many farm animals are usually given grain-based diets, which also contain lectins unless they are fed grass. Therefore, Typically most animal products also contain lectins because of this. The research conducted by Dr. Gundry has identified several lectin-friendly foods that we should consume, as well as foods that are high in lectin which should be best avoided. Incorporating some of the most popular food items into your lectin-friendly diet can be beneficial for you. These could include foods like nuts, walnuts, macadamia nuts, and pistachios, dark chocolates, and vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, celery, daikon radish, garlic, ginger, onions, carrots, beets, romaine, and spinach. Besides regular vegetables, even more interesting produce like mushrooms also contain low to zero levels of lectin, as are coconut products, hemp seeds, and also pine nuts. Cooking in salad oils such as avocado oil, coconut oil, walnut oil, and extra virgin olive oil are lectin-friendly as well. 
As for fruits, pomegranate, passion fruit seeds, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, blueberries, apples, cherries, peaches, and whole citrus fruits contain low to zero levels of lectins. As for lectin-friendly type of flowers, almond blanched, coconut, and sweet potato flowers contain low to zero levels as well. According to this research live stock products such as dairy, eggs, and meats are lectin-friendly if they are pastured, free-range, etc. On the sweet side of the taste palette, the popular zero-calorie sweetener such as monk fruit is also lectin-friendly as well. Popular drinks aside from pure water such as coffee, red wine, and tea are lectin-friendly with low levels of lectin as well. It was also noted that coffee beans do in its raw form contain lectins within its raw state, yet when these coffee beans during processing are roasted, most of these lectins become nullified to be friendlier for consumption. There is a lot of debate surrounding the consumption of lectin-rich foods, as some suggest that lectins may cause inflammation. However, many popular dishes we consume contain these compounds and so it is difficult to avoid them. Staple food items from grain-based products such as bread, cereal, pasta, and corn are marked as containing lectins. Additional favorites such as rice, potatoes, and agave products are stated to have lectins as well. For many people, Transitioning away from their childhood dietary habits can be a difficult process. It may require determination and dedication to change eating patterns that have been established for so long. Yet, with the right mindset, it is entirely achievable to switch to different food items. Recent research indicates that heat-intensive cooking practices like pressure cooking can greatly reduce the lectin content in food. However, it is possible that some lectins will still remain even after this type of preparation. For a healthier diet, it is advised to peel vegetables and fruits, like tomatoes as this helps to reduce the lectin intake. It is also stated from lectin research that refined items such as white bread should be preferred, as to whole wheat bread with respects to limiting lectin content we consume. Grain husks usually contain a large amount of lectin, which forms a protective layer. Thus, grains are a good source of lectin as the majority is stored within the husk. Therefore, processed grains that already have the husk removed are preferred. While some individuals favor the fiber in whole grains, there are experts who believe that the toxins found in its husk may not outweigh its benefits. Similarly white rice is preferred to brown rice, or wild rice with respects to limiting lectin content. We're seeing new and innovative alternatives to traditional staple foods in the market today. These products are emerging as viable alternatives and offer a great way to enjoy the same flavors without sacrificing health and nutrition. Chefs and cooks are always on the lookout for new recipes to help make meal times a more enjoyable experience. They seek out innovative ideas that can be used to tantalize taste buds and enhance the overall dining experience. For example, rather than a corn-based tortilla chip, there are sweet potato chips. Instead of white rice, we have cauliflower rice available. Many people enjoy the taste of cauliflower pizza over traditional flour-based pizzas due to its great texture and crispiness. In addition, cauliflower crusts are a healthier alternative to other types of pizza bread. It is also popular alternative to traditional flour, that almond flours make great tasting crispy cookies as well. Plus, since it has no traditional flour being used it's also gluten-free as well. Therefore, we can enjoy many of our favorite food concepts with a bit of mindfulness, smart shopping, and creativity in the kitchen to produce a lectin-free or at least in lectin-friendly meal we can all still enjoy. We hope you had enjoyed this video and had gained some weight loss knowledge from it.
For more videos like these, subscribe to our channel by Pretty Red Rose. Thank you and have a nice day.